What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny. In today's video, we're taking a look at how you can get a bonus chest in the King's Fall raid. Not only will you get your hands on some sweet, awesome King's Fall loot, but it's also a bonus chest that grants a deep sight weapons. So if you're looking to craft these incredible raid weapons, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below, and remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now alongside the launch of Season of Plunder, we see King's Fall return to the game. And with that, there's also a bonus chest, which we can get an additional Deep Sight weapon from. Deep Sight weapons are absolutely key if you're looking to craft raid weapons, and you'll need five versions of each weapon if you're looking to craft them all. Now this bonus chest is limited to once per account per week. A massive shout out to Scarrow9 and his team, who were the first team to find all these symbols and unlock this bonus reward chest. If you haven't checked him out on YouTube, I highly recommend that you do, and I'll leave the link to his channel down in the video description below. Now much like in the Vow of the Disciple raid, you first need to identify the three symbols you need to locate throughout the course of the raid. First of all, you need to complete the first encounter. Now by doing so, this will open a huge hive portal and spawn some combatants in the area. Before you jump through the portal, kill all the combatants in the Court of Oryx. And once the area is clear, we want to go underneath the portal and in this area we can locate three runes. These all have unique hive symbols on them and these are all the symbols we need to activate throughout the raid in order to unlock the bonus chest. Now you can identify these runes by using the glowing circles that if you shoot them will reveal the relevant symbol. Now if you do shoot one of the circles that presents an incorrect symbol you can shoot this again to deactivate it ensuring that the only three runes active throughout the course of the run are the three that are located at the very start of the raid. You'll know if you've entered all three runes correctly as you'll get an on-screen prompt that says the runes accept your offering. Once you see this message, any other runes in the raid will disappear and you simply need to complete the raid in order to unlock the additional chest. Now, unlike in the Vow of the Disciple raid, these runes don't have specific names. So to help us identify which rune is which, we're going to number them from 1 to 9. There are 9 runes in total throughout the raid, with 1 being closest to the beginning and 9 being at the very end. I created this infographic that you can see here that applies a number to the relevant symbol. So with that infographic in mind, if we come to the beginning and identify the three runes that we see here, we can work out the three number combination. Now with that combination in hand, we can use the timestamps in the video description below to locate exactly where each rune is in the raid. I've also added on-screen text to let you know which encounter each one is in alongside any additional useful information. So be sure to use those to jump around and save yourself some time. So from here, I'm going to let the location to all nine runes play out and I'll catch you again towards the end of the video. Guardian down. Thank <laughs> you. 
there we have it guys the location to all nine rooms and how you can unlock the bonus chest in the king's fall raid if you've enjoyed this video be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards and share with your family and friends and if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with destiny 2 then be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm going to jump back into the game as always guys and i will catch you all again very soon